Ballin' with. Podcast guys, today we're doing more sports bets. Let's go! Week 7, we're here! Yeah! Guys, I just want to do a recap on week 6 real quick before we get before we dive into the week 7 NFL sports bets. Um was a little crazy hectic week. Um games were pretty close. Um I know that Bills game took a lot of people's money on some parlays this past week. Shame on y'all, man. Shame on y'all. But we're just going to do a quick recap of what I did pick last week and then uh, go right into week seven picks and then do another video of the NBA picks this week. So we're going to get a lot of action this evening. Um, let's hurry right into it. Um, just want to make sure I got these right. I uh, did pick the Buccaneers for the win that Thursday night game. That was pretty easy, pretty obvious. Um, I actually did have the Eagles hitting that spread as well. Um, I did have the Seahawks winning that game. Unfortunately, they lost in overtime. Um, Teddy Bridgewater, I mean not Teddy Bridgewater, Geno Smith got um, sacked and forced fumbled by TJ Watt. Man, he's a fucking dog. Uh, that's why they won that game. Shout out TJ. He's a he's a beast. Steelers did win that game. I uh, had Seahawks, so one and one right now. I also did have the Miami Dolphins. Jaguars won their first game of the season. Mm, it's good. Kudos to them. Uh, I was one and two on these three bets right here. I did have Bengals, Chiefs, Colts, Rams. Um, the Minnesota Vikings came out with the nail biter overtime walk off touchdown win. I did have Panthers winning that game, I believe. So I did put that down. Yep. Um, I thought they were going to play some good defense. Knew it was going to be a close game. Vikings been in like the, probably the most overtime games this season so far. Uh, also knew Ravens and Chargers was going to be a great game. I didn't think it was going to be a blowout. Thought it was going to be real close. I did have Chargers. And I don't even know why. Lamar Jackson for MVP, no cap. With the rep in the purple. Lakers game, Ravens game, it's, it's all it's all there. Um, shout out Lamar though, as he's just to the critics, man. He know he don't got much to say. He just gonna play, his, do his talking on the field. That's all you gotta do when you when you Lamar Jackson. Uh, definitely had Green Bay. Definitely had the Cardinals. Uh, the Browns are gonna be looking iffy for this Week Seven matchup. They play Thursday. We are gonna get right onto them as well. I did have Raiders, uh, Dallas. Woo, Dallas gonna need some money. Shout out Trayvon Diggs. That interception and then that back-to-back -to -back touchdown, like right back to like that, and then that coming off the C.D. Lamb in the overtime, that was crazy. That was a good game too. And then that Bills and Titans game last night, man. Um, I did have Bills, so uh, I knew that was gonna be another close game. Titans always have close games as well, and uh, you know Vegas house always wins. Uh, they wasn't gonna pay everyone out for those Buffalo parlays and whatnot. So let's hop right into Week Seven. Um. Guys, when I look at these bets, it's Tuesday right now, the week. Um, so, I do my picks way before, you know, the weekend comes, uh, way before any more news or, you know, just anything that might come out before anybody is injured. I'm just going off of the t Monday, the Tuesday, right after the Monday following the week, and we're going right into the sports bets, and I'm picking. So, um, you know, the, the spreads do uh, adjust as well, so just bear with us on those. They don't adjust too much, I'm pretty sure, but always, 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 bet with your own heart don't claim anything on me i am not a financial advisor i'm not a sports betting guru but we do have the best sports bets out here guys so um let's go right into week seven thursday night broncos versus cleveland browns i would pick the broncos with this spread right here i'm not gonna lie to y'all um, i'm gonna actually jot these down right now as i'm talking broncos spread plus um plus three and a half broncos uh, didn't look too shabby versus the Raiders last week. Um, and then Cleveland Browns, uh, Kareem Hunt, and I know it's on IR, and Nick Chubbs is actually ruled out as well for that game. And I think, I'm just looking at the Teddy Bridgewater and Baker Mayfield stats right here. Look at this. Teddy Bridgewater is outperforming Baker Mayfield. Come on now. Can't tell me otherwise. I got Broncos winning that game. Broncos started like 3-0, and and they lost the last three, so I think they should pull off with another dub. Um, Colts been looking pretty good, decent, but I do have 49ers. Money line, I wouldn't know about the spread, but I would go 49ers money line. That is an 820 Sunday night game, too. And then, uh, it looks like we don't have any London games this week, so we're going to go right into the 1 o'clock games as well. Panthers and Giants, I got Panthers winning this game easily. They just lost a, a nail-biter, so I think they should come off this dub. Uh, the Giants are... Uh, a walk in the park should be a walk in the park for them. Um, Falcons and Dolphins. I do have my, I mean, Atlanta Falcons winning this game as well. Uh, I just think uh, you got more of a Pro Bowl quarterback. Uh, Miami just come off another tough loss as well with Tua back. So I do have Matt Ryan and them taking that dub away um, on that game as well. 
bear with me guys, let me put these picks in again, I'm just going so fast, um, Panthers and John, I have Panthers and Falcons, all money line by the way guys, uh, Washington football team, uh, we'll probably lose the game, we'll most likely lose the game, but by that spread, I'm not quite sure, I would say Washington by the spread, cover, um, I would definitely say Green Bay money line all the way, but those odds not going to really do you justice, so, um, you know, bet at your own will, but I would I would say Washington plus spread, uh, Packers money line, Cleveland and Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I do have Ravens winning this game easily. Um, it's gonna be a good game. Don't sleep on the Bengals, but I do have Bengals. I mean, I do have Ravens and Lamar Jackson just still com doing what they're doing, shutting everybody up. It's gonna be one of the better teams going into the playoffs this season, even though they are one of the most the most injured team in the league. Um, and the Lions are second most injured team in the league and they haven't won any games so just think about that john harbour is a great coach uh lamar jackson is a great player and he's definitely winning the games on his own um i do have new england just coming off a of bye week new england should have won that game versus dallas i think matt jones will uh you know battle with rookies who rookies are going to stay in this division the longest and longevity and you know continue to do what they're going to do dominate the division and i would give that to matt jones he's a pretty good baller um, I don't know about that spread, though. Uh, New England to money on that game. Chiefs and Titans. I do think Chiefs will come back and win this game. Titans' schedule is pretty close, but I do think this will be a nail-biter as well. I would go Titans plus. They've been all close games. Um, I might lose by six points, and then by that half a point, you're going to be screwed. So um, maybe buy some extra point with Titans. I do have Chiefs money on, though. Um, Rams, easy. I don't know about the spread, though. That's a very high spread. Um Y'all do y'all due diligence on that. Rams is easy money. I do have the Raiders as well uh, winning this game versus the Philadelphia Eagles. I just see it as Max Crosby coming over the edge. He's a freaking beast. He's a freaking beast. Um, I don't think Philly has an answer for him. They, they got rid of Zach Ertz. They're still in the rebuild process right now. They're not going to do it. Um, Houston Texans versus Arizona Cardinals. This spread is outrageous as well. These two are crazy. Um, I do have Arizona Cardinals winning again. They're gonna bust in the playoffs, though. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, they're undefeated right now. They barely. They only think they made the playoffs the first two seasons with Kyler Murray. They almost made it last season, but Kyler Murray is inexperienced. Uh, so he'll probably get knocked out by the Packers, Rams, Tampa Bay. Who else is in the NFC? Um, that w and probably I will give it. You know, Seahawks or another team that's in the 49ers division. I can't think of it right now. Um, oh, the Cardinals is the team, but. Um, Seahawks will probably beat the Cardinals, I feel like, and 49ers have opportunity. And if they were to go to the playoffs, don't doubt them, though. Um, Bears versus Bucks. These spreads are freaking crazy. 15, 17 and a half, and 13. I feel like one of these is going to hit, maybe all three, but uh, I don't know about this Bears and Bucks game. Actually, I do. I think this one, the Rams probably won't hit. The Rams are getting lackadaisical. They need to step it up. Buccaneers coming back, so we'll see. Um, I do have the Bucks though, and I do have the Seattle Seahawks Monday night versus um, Jameis Winston. Saints barely got it off versus us, Washington football team. And I think Geno Smith is a better quarterback than Jameis Winston, honestly. Um, as far as not turning the ball over, you have a better team. Uh, they just have a better running back, so I feel like uh, Seahawks defense will step it up for the Saints. I know Saints defense was pretty big too, so... I feel like that might be a close game. Seahawks plus the spread. I'm not going to go money line. Plus the spread for the Seahawks. They're on the dogs. Um, all right, guys. Uh, that will do it for this picks of the NFL. We did uh, the recap of week six. We go right into week seven NFL picks. I'm trying to make these videos shorter. Um, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. We got more picks on the way. We're going to go right into the NBA uh, after this one. And then, uh, guys, follow us on TikTok, too. That is coming up soon. We're going to do sports betting reactions. Guys, it's going to be freaking hilarious. Um, we're just going to be posting people's bets and how much money they lose and why are you doing these crazy bets versus why are you not catching out when you have your whole 15, half a team parlay halfway there. You got to think smart nowadays, guys. But that's it. Um, tune in. Like, comment, and subscribe again, guys. I'll see you guys on the next Ballin' With Podcast episode.